I have this DC to DC voltage booster and I used to have it up here on this setup here to use with my PMA uh, I call it a car PMA but uh, I no longer have that PMA so I'm gonna take this down and try to use it for something else. So my idea originally was to use these solar cells and um, put them together and make up a solar charger. Each piece I think still has half a volt but because some pieces are bigger you have this would be have more amperage and you would have a lot less with the smaller piece and up you would have you don't have as much power coming out because I think uh, if you have a small piece that's the power that you're gonna have and I have this booster here DC voltage booster unfortunately it only starts boosting at 3.5 volt this has the LM uh, 2577 so this has the 2577 booster chip here a couple of coils and this uh, helical inductor and a, a dial here so this switches up the voltage and the th good thing about this is I think it also regulates the voltage and um, if you put in 3.5 you can set it to 9, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you can set this up to charge different types of batteries and unfortunately I don't have enough pieces of solar cell here and when I brick them up like this or when well actually I didn't break them up on purpose when they're broken up like this uh, I'm not sure what what the amperage is when when you charge it one piece one good piece would be 3.5 amp and uh, I think uh, 1.75 watt and um, if you run this through this DC booster you will lose a little bit of an amperage so with you need seven pieces to get up to 3.5 volts so I'm short a couple of pieces but anyway this booster is uh, is an interesting um, piece of uh, equipment because um, it can obviously step up voltage you can use it as a voltage I mean as a battery charger and you can also um, what I call them uh, you can use it as a uh, regulated power supply. I have this on about 10 volts. I have a, um, let me see here. You can adjust this with a trim part. And I have a set of uh, batteries here. Uh, for about four volts. They're kind of weak. I have three AA batteries here. So it's about three volts or so. And now you see, I have to move it back here. You will see the voltage is about 10.5 volt. The LEDs are not that bright. So I'm gonna adjust it. I need an extra pair of hands. Okay. I'll adjust it to a higher voltage. You, you'll see that it should be a little brighter. Okay, it's 11.14 volts now. And the LEDs are obviously brighter. You have four. And the uh, voltage is 3.3 uh, volt forward voltage. So, for about uh, 13 13 something volt so right now is at 11 11 point one four okay let's turn it up even higher I 
I need an extra pair of hands. Okay, still about 11.56. And it has gotten brighter. You can just adjust the trim part here. Clockwise, you decrease the voltage. Now it's 12.13 volt. And you see it's a lot brighter. And this is sort of like a... The voltage is stabilized, and I, I think the the output is also stabilized. I'm not sure. It's pretty bright. I'm not sure what kind of wattage it is uh, putting out. Let's lower it back down. Otherwise, it will burn out those LEDs. Now it's down to 11.76. Okay. So this is the experiment. Um, apparently this is good up to 60 watts. That's what the claim is uh, for this DC to DC voltage booster. So I think you can do a lot with this. They sell for from a few dollars if you can buy it from China to $10 you can buy it on Amazon or any, anywhere. They have different types of configuration, uh, different types of components, but the main thing is that LM2577 chip there. And you have the blue input, and this here is the output. Um, the ground is in the middle here, and the heart is on either side. So that was my idea originally to see if I can make some kind of solar charger so you can charge different kinds of equipment. If I have something that's up to 3.5 volt, I can basically charge anything from uh, you know 3.6 volt and up to 15 volts. I haven't really turned the dial that far up to see what's the voltage but it can, it can uh, boost the voltage from this set of AA batteries from about 4 volts if they're fully charged. These aren't fully charged. So they were giving up a little more than 3.5 volts or so. And it cranked it up to uh, 15 volts. And it was lighting up these LEDs. So that's my experiment. Maybe when I get a hold of some better solar cells I can do something with it. Uh, you can see you know the they're not in good shape and you actually have to be very careful when you're playing with this. You can have tiny pieces of this stuck in your skin and it's difficult to get out. Okay thanks for watching.